Welcome back to the Doctor's Advice Podcast, where we unravel the complexities of cybersecurity leadership and risk management. I'm your host, Dr. B, and today we are putting network security under the microscope. We'll explore how fortifying your network isn't just about bits and bytes. It's a strategic financial decision with far-reaching implications for your organization, bottom line. In a boardroom, discussions often resolve and revolve around revenue and growth and risk. But as CISOs, we know that network security is intrinsically tied to these financial goals. A breach can lead to devastating financial losses, regulatory fines, and tarnish your organization's reputation. So how do we ensure our network security strategy aligns with your organization's fiscal health? Enter the cybersecurity defense matrix. So this is powerful framework that allows us to map network security controls to a specific asset class, enabling a risk-based approach to investment. By identifying critical assets and vulnerabilities, we can prioritize the spending and optimize our defenses. Think of firewalls as the network gatekeepers. They control incoming and outgoing traffic, blocking unauthorized access and preventing data exfiltration. Investing in next-generation firewalls with advanced features like intrusion prevention and deep packet inspection can significantly reduce the risk of costly breaches. So intrusion detection systems, or IDS, act as your network early warning system. They monitor for suspicious activity, allow you to respond swiftly, and contain threats before they cause significant damage. It's like having a security guard patrolling your network, ready to raise the alarm at the first sign of trouble. Network segmentation is another crucial aspect. By dividing your network into smaller isolated zones, you limit the lateral movement of attackers, containing the blast radius of a breach. This minimizes financial losses in downtime, ensuring business continuity. But network security isn't just about preventing breaches. It's about enabling business growth. A robust network security posture fosters customer trust, protects your brand reputation, and can even open up new opportunities. It's a strategic asset that continues to basically give to your organization overall financial health. And that is the key message. Remember, the cost of a breach far outweighs the investment in your network security. By prioritizing network security within your cyber cyber defense matrix, CISOs can demonstrate their commitment to both security and financial responsibility. Remember, that is the key message, laying heavily on the financial responsibility organization, knowing exactly where to invest. So the floodlight focus light effect, you're not going to invest everywhere a little bit, but you're going to focus on what have the most return of your investment. So take proactive approach, conduct a thorough network security assessment, identify your critical assets and implement robust controls. Your network is your organization's financial firewall. Fortify it, and you safeguard your future. Well, thank you for tuning in to the Doctor's Advice Podcast. I hope this episode has shed some light on the financial implications of network security and how cyber defense matrix can guide your investment decisions. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay secure, and remember, a strong network is a strong bottom line.